What's up guys, Shane Storms with Droid. Modern XNS development continues on the Nexus 6 as ROMs begin to come out. You may find yourself in a sticky situation. You might find yourself in an infinite boot loop or a soft brick. You may need to reset your device to factory settings or you might be wanting to sell your Nexus 6 and you need to get all your personal information off of there. Uh, you need to restore the stock settings or maybe you need to send it into the Motorola factory to get something repaired and you don't want to send it in modified. Uh, you'll need to restore your device to factory settings. The easiest way to do this is by using Wokefresh's Nexus Root Toolkit. We're going to show you guys how to use that in this video. First thing you want to do on your device is go into your settings. Go down to About Phone. Go to the build number. Click on that seven times until it says you are now a developer. We'll go back. Go to Developer Options. Uh, be sure this Enable OEM Unlock is checked and check the USB debugging. Okay, when all of that is complete, I'm going to go ahead and connect our USB cable. Okay, we should get a message, uh, allow USB debugging, it gives you the RSA key fingerprint, we'll select always allow from this computer and select OK. So when all that's finished, we will set this to the side. Now this works if your bootloader unlocked and you're rooted and you have all your stuff uh, and you just want to get back to flash stock. Uh, basically what we'll do here is where it says back to stock, there's a couple of versions here, there's one that's soft brick. Uh, in a boot loop or devices on a normal we'll select that before we do anything here we want to make sure that we uh, select our current model which is the nexus 6 on android 5.0 you can go into change and you'll see that this is available for all uh, nexus devices including even like the nexus player and wokefresh has actually released a root toolkit for the oneplus one which is called the bacon root toolkit which is pretty cool uh, so we'll go ahead and make sure that we select our device which is the nexus 6 and we will go to the Android 5.0.0. Uh, if you're running a custom ROM, you would select that. We go with 5.0.0 and apply. Basically, it's telling you how to enable the USB debugging and get all of that situated. Okay, and also, you might want to take note that it has a live log here, so it shows you everything that's taking place on your phone. Okay, so one of my favorite, uh, one of the favorite things about the Nexus Root Toolkit is it downloads all files for you, uh, or it tells you what needs to be downloaded. In order for it to work, you don't have to go scouring the forums to find a stock image. Uh, you don't have to know how to use ADB or the command prompt window. Uh, and you don't have to have the SDK installed. You will need the drivers installed. So if for some reason this doesn't see your device, you want to go to this full driver installation guide that will walk you through how to get the drivers properly installed. In my experience, uh, for me, I've been able just to plug in the USB cable to my phone with USB debugging enabled. And Windows pretty much finds the correct drivers automatically. But if that doesn't work for you, you can uh, set up your drivers here. So we'll go ahead and select the devices on in normal and flash stock plus unroot. We'll press OK. It says that it has to be unlocked first. So you would need to, if you're not already bootloader unlocked, you would need to unlock first. We'll go ahead and select OK. Uh, it says that it will completely wipe your device. So just make sure to back up anything that's super important before we continue. So we'll select OK. It says which factory image. And... Uh, we'll go with the image that it has here for our device. Okay, so it's going to automatically download that as well. Okay, it's asking if you want to enable the force slash mode. We're going to go ahead and enable it. Select yes. And it's going to go ahead and download the proper file. So we'll give it uh, the time necessary to download that and then we'll return and finish up the process. Okay, so when it's finished downloading, you'll see where it says complete. It's going to do the hash check here just to make sure that the file is 100%. And then it's going to go ahead and extract the file, which it's doing now. And then it will begin to flash the stock image. Okay, so once everything is complete and it is extracted, it's going to go ahead and reboot your phone into the bootloader mode. So once again, you can see everything that's happening in the live log. Uh, you'll notice that it did go ahead and boot our phone into bootloader mode. Okay, so this is flashing stock will restore your device to factory state. Make sure you back up important data. Also disregard any messages about sick files missing. Force flash mode is currently enabled, so the script will not check for any of this stuff. So go ahead and press OK. And we'll just kind of let it do its thing. So this might take, you know, up to 15 minutes. Don't freak out. Uh, just let it do its thing. And you might even want to step away. So you also want to make sure that your phone is charged to at least 30%. Because you wouldn't want your phone to die in the middle of the process. So when it's finished, you'll see this 
uh, booting up your freshly flash start devices. Wait for your device to finish booting up. May appear to be boot looping, just wait. It could take 10 to 15 minutes, so please be patient. When it's finally booted back up, please remember to re-enable USB debugging if you plan on using the toolkit to perform other operations, such as OEM locking the bootloader. So we'll go ahead and press any key to exit, and then we'll just wait on our phone to fully reboot. Okay, so before moving forward, make sure that you uh, power on your device. You don't have to sign into everything uh, since you're going to be uh, wiping your data with the OEM lock anyway. So you can actually just skip initial setup, go into your settings, go down to developer options again, click on, I'm sorry, go to about phone, click on the build number seven times so you've unlocked your developer options. Select developer options, turn them on, and make sure USB debugging is checked and that you allow access to your PC by checking always allow and OK. So once your USB debugging is re-enabled, we'll go to OEM lock. Okay, the script will relock your device back to original equipment manufacturer specification. Use the flash dot plus unroot button prior to that, which we already have. Go ahead and select OK. Just checking ADB status, it sees us there. Device is connected, it's rebooting us into the bootloader mode. So once again, you'll see that we're in the bootloader mode. Okay, so now it's going to uh, run the command OEM lock or fast boot OEM lock. So your device should now be relocked. When you press OK, your device will boot back up. So we'll confirm that we are relocked by checking out our menu here. And it should say there, device is locked. So you see it right there, device is locked. So we'll go ahead and press OK and that will reboot our device into Android, and it will be totally 100% clean like you pulled it out of the box. So guys, that about wraps it up for this video. A uh, big shout out to Webfresh for his Nexus Root Toolkit. It makes everything super easy, uh, super user friendly. You don't have to go scouring the web in order to find the downloads that you need. I'll be sure to have a link in the description of where you can download the Nexus Root Toolkit. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.